How do you think that Austin comedy scene differs from the LA comedy scene? What's the what's the biggest differences about it? Uh, geographically, it's much smaller, which means that you can do a lot more quickly. It has it's not quite New York where you can do seven in a night, but right. uh, I you know I hit five in a night the other night where I did uh, you know a feature set on. Uh, one show and then two spots and then another feature set and then another spot later that night, you know, like, okay. and I did those all uh, within, you know, a mile and a half of each other and they were all sold out crowds. So that's one thing. Um, the Austin crowds are, I mean, probably I haven't been everywhere. I've done uh, a decent amount of the road and I've gone to right. a lot of places, but I haven't gone everywhere. So like, um, I can't like I know like some of the big contenders are like Comedy on State and Acme and uh, like a few of those places, but Austin crowds are so understanding and they go with you and they laugh and they're not up about words. I mean, we have a lot of people that throw around different things that might get right. you in trouble in certain parts of the country, and they seem to do well here because they're not they're not coming from a place of hate. Um, yeah. But I mean, I have a joke right now where I talk pretty graphically about throat fucking a grandma in her stoma, uh, at like a memory, like an Alzheimer's unit. And I got like a 20 second applause break on that joke on Monday. I, and people like fucking yeah. And just laugh because they're, they get that it's comedy, you know, and it's graphic right. and fucked up, but they're into it, you know? And, uh, so like that's, that's exciting to me. You know, like I, I love that there's, there's also, um, LA crowds. Right. They need more from you to give a shit because there's somebody famous either next to them or on the line, you know, like, it's just like, if you're not fucking a blue check mark, big deal, like on a TV show that I've heard of or on Netflix, then I don't give a fuck. Impress me clown. You know, there's a lot of that attitude, I feel like. Yeah. Whereas in Austin, because it's at its heart a live music scene where people blow up, everybody's kind of, like, excited to see who could be the next star. They're they're right. more excited to see the people you haven't heard of because it's a bunch of fucking hipsters. It's way yeah. cooler to know a good band that no one knows than to know a good band that everyone knows. Exactly, you know? yeah. And that, so, like, that that part of the culture is here too, where it's like, you know, I have people that like come to shows to see me. I'm fucking nobody. Like I, I do shows all the time and I have people that like, they wait, they're like, okay, this will be a good one that Mike's on. We'll go see that. It's like, what? Like, <laughs> you know, the other, you know who you could be seeing, right? But they're, it, right. they like what I'm doing and nobody knows me. So they like that. And like, that's, it's really cool. And we also have, um, because there's no industry, like there's, right. there's not like, there's not anybody casting for movies. There's not anybody trying to pick the tonight show guests, you know, like that's, that's not something you feel the pressure of at every show. Yeah. The comedy clubs, especially the ones that are here now, because cap city was shut down for so long. These are by comics for comics. You know, oh. like when you go do a show at Creek as a comic, the green room is made to be comfortable and nice for you. Like it's great. There's, free drinks and snacks for comics on the shows. Right. You know, the bartenders all know the comics and what they drink and, you know, hook them up. You know, like the, the rooms are designed for crushing at comedy. Like the Creek in the cave is just a fucking murder box, dude. Right. And like, uh, Vulcan incredible. It's built for comics. You know, they put the phones in the bags for everybody else. And then you get to keep yours out. There's a little status thing there. You know, there's an upstairs balcony where you can smoke. There's a nice green room with a private bathroom. Like it's, Buy comics for comic and they're full shows with good lineups. I mean, it's just, yeah. it's fucking, it's, it's great. And I can go any night of the week uh, around 8 p.m. and I can park somewhere downtown <laughs> for free. 